Article 1491. The following persons cannot acquire by purchase, even at a public or judicial auction, either in person or through the mediation of another. 1. The guardians, the property of the person or persons who may be under his guardianship. 2. Agents, the property whose administration or seal may have been entrusted to them, unless the consent of the principal has been given. 3. Executors and administrators, the property of the estate under administration. 4. Public officers and employees, the property of the state of, or of any subdivision thereof, or of any government-owned and controlled corporation or institution, the administrator of which has been entrusted to them. This provision shall apply to judges and government experts who, in any manner whatsoever, take part in the sale. 5. Justices, judges, prosecuting attorneys, clerks of superior and inferior courts, and other officers and employees connected with the administration of justice, the property and rights in litigation, or levied upon an execution before the court within whose jurisdiction or territory they exercise their respective functions. This prohibition includes the act of acquiring by assignment and shall apply to lawyers. With respect to the property and rights which may be subject to of any litigation in which they may take part by virtue of their profession. 6. Any others specifically disqualified by law. <clears throat> So, itong article na to, um, so based pa rin siya sa capacity to buy and sell. Ito ay um, relative incapacity. So, unlike yung absolute, uh, forever hindi pwedeng magbili or magbenta. Ito, relative. So, um, up, depende sa circumstances yung incapacity, incapacity niya. So, after Matapos yung circumstance na yun, pwede na siya maging, uh, magkaroon ng capacity. So, anong reason para dito sa article na to? Uh, main reason is public policy prohibits the transactions in view of the fiduciary relationship involved. Pag sinabi natin fiduciary relationship, so ito yung um, relationship of trust and confidence. So, may parang friendship. So, ito is in avoid niya yung mga taong pinagkakatiwalaan natin na maging greedy or unahin yung sarili nila bago yung interest nung taong nagkatiwala sa kanila. So, mag exist lang tong article na to um, upon the existence of the duration relationship only. So, or until. So, pag natapos na yung judiciary relationship nila, uh, matatapos na din yung um, incapacity nung taong yun. So, ang first na sinabi dito is um, guardian. So, yung mga guardian and yung property is dapat um, property nung ward or person under his or her guardianship. So, di ba um, so, yung fiduciary relationship pinagkatiwalaan natin itong guardian to act on behalf of, or to act on behalf of the ward or parang pinagkatiwala yung property muna ni ward kay guardian. So, ang duration nito, pag natapos na yung relationship nila as guardian and ward, pwede nang i-acquire ni guardian or um, ng taong ito yung property ni ward. Para dapat hindi na mag exist yung guardianship nila. And then, next is yung agent. So, um, so agent, tapos yung property under his agency. So, mag exist lang yung relationship kapag, uh, during the period of, um, nasa contract of agency. Once na hindi na siya agent, pwede na rin yung i-acquire itong property na ito. So, for example, si agent, sabi nga dito si agent, binenta niya itong property. So, um, under his agency, um, 
pasok sa kanya yung pagbebenta ng property on behalf of the principal. So, siya yung nag-act ng pagbebenta nito. Tapos, so, na-acquire na ito ng third party. Tapos, siya binili niya mula sa third party. So, pwede ito. Kasi natapos na yung um, contract nila of agency. Tsaka, hindi na nag exist Pero, si itong third party pala, nag-act siya on behalf of the agent. So, parang meron silang connivance. So, hindi pwede yun or avoidable yung contract na yun. And then, third is executors and administrators. So, with regard to the estate of the deceased. So, example, sa so, so executor. Bawal niyang bilhin yung property ni heirs. Pero, um, si heirs, pwede niyang ibenta kay agent, a ah, kay executor. So, dapat siya mismo yung may gusto, hindi siya magde-decide na, mag na bumili. Nung nabilhin yung property ni heir. And then, fourth is public officers and employees. So, hindi pwedeng bumili ng property of the state yung public officers and employees. Pero, within their jurisdiction lang. So, for example, ito si Binay. So, bawal niyang bilhin yung property ng state or property ng Philippines sa Makati. Kasi siya ang ilig mayor. Pero, pwede niyang bilhin yung property ng state sa Laguna. Same with um, officers and other employees within that jurisdiction. And then, five is justices, judges, prosecuting attorneys. So, within the legal system of the law. So, ito is para din ma... Um, ma-avoid natin yung um, suspicion na parang uh, ma-discredit yung judicial system. So, with terms of the judges, hindi lang siya yung property under litigation. So, litigation ito yung object ng ating um, uh, case o yung kaso. So, kasama dito, din dito yung um, binigyan niya ng um, read of execution. So, ito yung pagkamkam ng property ng isang tao, tapos yung auction. So, yung inisuhan niya nito, hindi rin pwedeng, hindi niya rin pwedeng bilhin yung property under this. Yung property under litigation. For, so, for example, may minor gauge na property, tapos ito yung object nila ng um, um, kaso. So, hindi pwedeng bilhin ito ni uh, lawyer, ni judge, ni lawyer, ng mga clerk, ng uh, judicial office. So, lahat sila hindi pwedeng bilhin yung under um, litigation. Kahit ito ay sabi natin naka-public auction. And six is other persons disqualified. So, um, other persons um, excluded by law. So, example nito is yung aliens. Bawal silang mag-acquire ng private agricultural land. Um, so, recap natin. So, first is yung guardian, then agent, executors, and administrators, public officers and employees, and justices, um, judges, and lawyers. So, for the first three, ang result ng pagbili ng mga taong ito with concern dun sa um, dapat nilang inaalaga ang mga tao is voidable yung contract nito. So, valid siya until i-void. Kasi ito ay private interest lang. Kapag itong mga ito naman, yung mga public officers so bumili siya ng um, property ng estate under his administration so ito ay void Kasi ito ay makaapekto sa public interest. And kapag napatunayan, and hindi rin sila pwedeng um, magkaroon ng uh, other party na nag act on their behalf. So, kailangan, hindi rin pwede, ano, may fraud kasi dun. Kapag may inutusan ng silang tao, 
na mag-act on their behalf. So, meron connivance with the same yung sinabi ko with the agents. So, same effect. Pero kailangan patunayan na nagkaroon ng connivance. And that's it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Oh my gosh.